let's assume we're an MYB retail manager and we have the following scenario. The customer comes in and wishes to buy a wok, but we don't have any in stock just now. We'd have to order it in specifically for the customer. The customer, the customer agrees to put a deposit on the wok and we agree to order the, the goods in. So what we need to do here is enter a sale, take the deposit and record a sales order. So let's go and do that. Let's bring up our sales screen and first of all of course enter our staff code and find the customer. Let's just assume the customer's name is Steve Fuller. He's already a customer with us, we don't need to add him in. We're going to find the, the item, which is the wok. It's code number 14. Notice we have not on hand and we don't have any on lay-by. Enter that through. Okay, the total value of the wok is $104.54, so we've asked the customer for $30 deposit. So let's go down and we'll put $30 um, against cash, because that's the way the customer wishes to pay. We'll put the re residual, or the remainder, on sales order. So if you push S, you'll jump down until you reach sales order on the list of payment types. So that's completed. We've taken the deposit, which will go as part of our cash up tonight, and we've committed the sales order. What we'd do now is we would uh, give a copy of the sales order to the customer. Notice it's pending in terms of status, and it shows what the customer's purchased and that they've paid cash of $30. We'll shut down our preview screen, and the sale is complete for now. Let's assume that in a week's time, we've ordered the goods, and the goods have been received into stock. What we'll do now is we'll go into the customer, the customer comes back in and we'll go into sales order payments to either complete the sales order or to put another payment on the goods. Let's assume that the whole job is now completed. They've paid the full balance and we've supplied the stock. So we'll go into sales order payments. Again, need to enter our staff code and we'll enter the customer's details. I've entered equal Steve and that should look up and find the customer. Now at this point, if we couldn't have got the goods in, we can come in here and enter a refund back to the customer of the $30. So you've got an option here to refund the funds back to the customer, or, as what we'll do now, is we'll complete the payment. The customer's agreed to pay by FPOS, so if we tab down to our payment types and accept FPOS, We'll add that through. We've taken the FPOS payment of $74.54 and we'll commit the sale. So now we have a real sale. We've supplied the goods and we've taken the final payment and we no longer have a sales order in place. At the bottom of the, um, the docket we'll see we've received cash of $30 and we've received FPOS of $74.54. We have now completed the, the, the sale.